So hello guys, Matri Video. Let's unlock our bootloader today and I will try to make it as simple as possible. First you need to go to your settings and add your MI account. Be sure the MI account number is same as the one in your phone. Then you need to head over to your about phone and tap on the MIUI version multiple times to enable your developer option. Then you need to go to additional settings and then developer option on the bottom. First scroll down a bit and you will see OEM unlocking. Turn it to on and then enable it. It will ask for your permission and just enable it. Then just further down below you will see the USB debugging. We will need this to connect your device to the PC for ADB bridge and your fast food bridge. Then you need to enable it. It will ask for some like uh, danger and warning signs. Just uh, ignore it and enable it. Then you need to go MI unlock status and click on enable or allow. Then you need to switch over to your mobile data because Wi-Fi won't work here. You will only need mobile data with the SIM you have in your phone and allow the mobile data and then click on add account and device once. Remember not to do it twice. If you do then the timer will reset for the uh, bootloader unlocking and you will have to wait for a longer time. Also here you will need some tools to unlock the bootloader and I will provide the best version of those tools in my description box. Always, it's not the latest or the oldest version, but it's the best compatible version. I will also teach you how to install your ADB drivers, which are very confusing at first. First, just turn off your device, connect it to PC, and then hold power plus volume down button to turn it into fast boot mode. It will look different if you are on Android 11, but it's the same nonetheless. Then you need to go to the driver section and go to mi flash unlock.exe. Agree to the terms and then here sign into your MI account the same one that you have on your phone. You will have to install your driver here. Don't try to unlock it from here. I haven't tried it but I don't recommend it too. Then you need to go to the settings icon on the top right corner and there's a click the button to install the driver and it will ask you for admin privileges. Click on check. Then connect. it will ask you to connect your device again. Just like disconnect the device and then connect it back again. My, my drive already installed that's because my driver was already installed i have done previous works on this then you need to close it and go over to your platform tools here just go ahead and open the folder click on the platform tools once more and the directory click on that and click and type cmd and hit enter when you hit enter you will see a command prompt open up it's not an admin one it's just normal one and you need to type the following command to check if your device is in connected in passport mode or not. I typed it wrong the first time so I'll just type the one in the description or in the comment section. When you hit enter it will show you the device and it's the mode it is in connected. You see that's my device and it's in passport mode. So that means the ADB the bridge for passport is working. Then you need to go to the zip file I have provided and in the bottom corner you will see the batch unlock.exe click on that it will extract it take all some time it, and then go ahead and you will see that your device is there it's my behema poco x3 pro you can just add your device and wait for a week and then try to do it as it will then go through successfully i was just trying to show you what will happen if i try to unlock it before the given time so yes it is and i will now wait for one week to unlock my bootloader know that it will format your device so make a backup if you don't have already then i will see you again in one week so it's been about seven days and now i'm back i will turn my phone to fast boot mode and then go to the batch unlock.exe to unlock my phone from here on the process is really really simple you just have to open the batch unlock.exe file that you used previously connect your phone in fast boot mode then select your device and just unlock it of the process will be automated the phone will restart automatically and it will be formatted as i have already mentioned before so make a backup if you haven't already the process here will be automated your phone will reboot on its own and it will boot on the miui animation that you first got here i would just skip the process where it boots also it will take a very long time to boot don't panic and just let it stay for like that it will take from anywhere from two minutes to eight minutes to boot also when you boot up you will have to set up again but don't pay any heat to it you will have to format it again as you have to install TWRK in your custom ROM now I my phone booted into MIU 13 as I had MIU 13 on my phone and here look at the option that Google and MIU gave you and disable all these it will just increase the services in the background and decrease the performance of your phone 
Also, I suggest you to disable these ones because it will also cause many services to run in the background. Whether it's custom ROM or it's a normal MIUI stock ROM, just disable these one completely for a better experience of your game. Now you have successfully unlocked your bootloader as you can see you have booted into your OS as well. Now next video I will show you how to install TWRP and flash your custom ROM. So I will see you again in the next video. Bye bye. Continue.